Do you know that there are aquatic creatures that can jump as high as 3 meters, swim as fast as 70 kilometers per hour, or change their sex? Yes, those are migratory fish, one of the most spectacular and important natural phenomena for life on Earth. Check out this video until the end. Hello friends. Welcome to the Sky Sea channel which always discusses everything about the sea. This time we will talk about fish migration, a natural phenomenon that shows the beauty and wonder of life on Earth. Fish migration is the movement of fish from one place to another that has a meaning of adaptation to natural conditions that are favorable for their existence and offspring. Many fish species migrate on a time scale ranging from daily to yearly and over distances ranging from a few meters to thousands of kilometers. Fish migrate for the purpose of spawning, feeding and finding suitable areas for their survival, although there are reasons for some fish migrations that are unknown. Did you know that there are about 120 species of fish that migrate in the world? Yes, that means about 1% of the total species of fish that exist on Earth. Wow, that's a lot. Fish migration is influenced by several factors both external factors, namely environmental factors that directly or indirectly play a role in fish migration and internal factors, namely factors that are in the fish's body. External factors include 1. Guidance from older fish. Fish are able to migrate back to their original area because of guidance from older fish. 2. Water smell. Anadromous fish are able to migrate back to their original area by passing through several branches of rivers. The ability to choose the right branch of river is suspected to be done by recognizing the smell of organic matter contained in rivers. 3. Temperature fluctuations and geographic changes are important factors that stimulate and determine the concentration and grouping of fish. Temperature will affect metabolism, body movement activity and function as a nerve stimulus. 4. Salinity. Fish tend to choose a medium with salinity that matches their body osmotic pressure. Changes in salinity will stimulate fish to migrate to places that have salinity that matches their body osmotic pressure. 5. Tidal currents. Currents will affect fish migration through passive transport of fish eggs and juveniles from spawning areas to nursery areas and may orient as opposing currents when adult species migrate from feeding areas to spawning areas. Internal factors include 1. Hormones. Hormones are chemicals produced by endocrine glands and function as regulators of physiological activities in the body. Hormones also play a role in fish migration, especially in terms of reproduction. 2. Instinct. Instinct is a natural urge possessed by living things to do something without learning or thinking first. Instinct also affects fish migration, especially in terms of spawning. Well, those are some of the factors that affect fish migration. But, how do fish know where to go when they migrate? Do they have GPS or maps? Of course not. Fish have their own way of finding their way in the vast and diverse ocean. Fish migration can be classified into several types based on the place and direction of their movement. Types of fish migration include Oceanodromous Fish migration that only occurs in the sea, for example in tuna fish. Potamodromous Fish migration that only occurs in freshwater such as rivers and lakes, for example in tilapia fish. Diadromus. Diadromus is a type of fish migration in two types of water, namely freshwater, river or lake, and seawater. Diadromus migration is divided into three types, namely. Anadromus. Fish migration from sea to river to spawn, for example in salmon fish. Catadromus. Fish migration from river to sea to spawn, for example in eelfish. Amphidromus. Fish migration from river to sea or vice versa for reasons other than spawning, for example in goby fish. Did you know that goby fish can change their sex from female to male when migrating from river to sea or vice versa to increase their reproductive chances? Yes, goby fish are hermaphrodite fish that can have both reproductive organs in their body. Fish migration has benefits for the life of the fish itself as well as for humans and marine ecosystems. The benefits of fish migration include 
increasing the chance of survival and reproduction, increasing ecological balance, and increasing economic value. However, fish migration also faces challenges that can threaten the survival and reproduction of fish, namely, predation, physical barriers, and physiological stress. Did you know that salmon can jump as high as 3 meters to overcome physical barriers such as waterfalls when migrating to rivers? Yes, that means salmon have extraordinary muscle and bone strength. Fish migration involves various types of fish that have different characteristics and adaptations. Here are some examples of types of migratory fish and their adaptations. Salmon Salmon are an example of anadromous fish that migrate from sea to river to spawn. Salmon have adaptations in the form of the ability to change their body color according to their living environment. In the sea, the body color of salmon tends to be silvery to camouflage themselves from predators. In rivers, the body color of salmon tends to be red or orange to attract the attention of their mates. In addition, salmon also have adaptations in the form of the ability to change their body osmotic pressure according to water salinity. In the sea, the osmotic pressure of salmon's body is lower than water salinity, so salmon have to drink a lot of water and excrete salt through their kidneys and gills. In rivers, the osmotic pressure of salmon's body is higher than water salinity, so salmon have to reduce water intake and absorb salt through their kidneys and gills. Eel Eel are an example of catadromous fish that migrate from river to sea to spawn. Eel have adaptations in the form of the ability to crawl on land using their dorsal and ventral fins. This allows eel to overcome physical barriers such as dams or tunnels. In addition, eel also have adaptations in the form of the ability to hold their breath for several hours using their swim bladder as a reserve of oxygen. This allows eel to survive in water that is low in oxygen or even on land. Tuna Tuna are an example of oceanodromous fish that migrate in the sea only for food or mates. Tuna have adaptations in the form of the ability to swim fast and efficiently using their tail and dorsal fins. This allows tuna to chase prey or avoid predators easily. In addition, tuna also have adaptations in the form of the ability to keep their body temperature warm using a special blood circulation system called Reet Murabile. This allows tuna to adapt to changes in water temperature in the sea. Well, those are some types of migratory fish and their adaptations. But, is fish migration only beneficial for fish themselves? Of course not. Fish migration also has ecological and economic impacts for humans and marine ecosystems. The ecological impacts of fish migration include increasing biodiversity, increasing primary productivity, increasing energy transfer. The economic impacts of fish migration include increasing food value, increasing income value, increasing tourism value. Did you know that tuna is one of the most valuable fisheries commodities in the world? Yes. According to FAO data in 2018, the export value of tuna reached 42 billion US dollars. Did you know that giant catfish is the largest freshwater fish in the world? Yes, giant catfish can reach a length of 3 meters and a weight of 300 kilogram. Unfortunately, giant catfish are endangered due to dam construction and overfishing. Fish migration is a natural phenomenon that is important for life on Earth, but also vulnerable to threats from climate change and human activities. Therefore, efforts need to be made to protect and conserve migratory fish and their habitats. Here are some examples of how to protect and conserve migratory fish and their habitats. Building fish ladders or bridges Fish ladders or bridges are facilities built around dams or other physical barriers to allow fish to pass through them easily when migrating. Example. Fish ladder at Hoover Dam in the United States or fish bridge at Ebro River in Spain. Implementing quotas or moratoriums on fishing quotas or moratoriums on fishing are restrictions or bans imposed to regulate the amount or time of fishing so as not to be excessive or interfere with the migration cycle of fish. Example. Quota on tuna fishing in the Indian Ocean or moratorium on salmon fishing in the Columbia River in the United States. Reducing or eliminating environmental pollution environmental pollution can be reduced or eliminated by avoiding or treating waste that can pollute water, soil, or air.
as well as using environmentally friendly and biodegradable materials. Increasing Awareness and Participation of Society Awareness and participation of society can be increased by providing information, education, or advocacy about the importance of fish migration and its impact on humans and marine ecosystems. As well as inviting society to participate in activities that support the conservation of migratory fish and their habitats. Well, those are some ways to protect and conserve migratory fish and their habitats. I hope you all can be inspired to do good things for life on Earth. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to get updates on other interesting videos. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.